Whether you have a business, an app you're trying to promote, or just want to build your personal brand, creating content is super important. And leveraging AI these days, you know, at minimum, you should be using it to help you out. So one question I had is like, how do we actually take these LLM inputs and outputs? Like, let's say, write me a YouTube script on this. I've personally found ChatGPT, it's not super good. I mean, it feels very generic. And that's because the outputs are basically some hallucination. They don't get very specific and so on. But when we think about how people really write content, they do a lot of research. They look at similar articles and then they kind of create something new and then add references. So that's really how SEO normally works. So I've come up with something I feel like is quite interesting and it all happens directly here in Notion. And then there's a little bit of code as well. So if you're trying to create any kind of content these days, this is gonna be a really interesting video for you. So Notion is sponsoring this video. We've kind of partnered up because they have this new AI feature that I've been messing around with, but I will be for sure using this for all my future production apps just to create a lot of content and try to rank in SEO. So what I've built here, you can see is a simple blog template. You can actually download this template, which has all the instructions on generating content and uh, publishing it basically in a few clicks as well. So you can do like 10 articles per day if you want. But basically here is where my posts are displayed that I've generated in this pretty simple layout that you can customize. Now, if we kind of go through what I've built, it is basically taking similar articles from Reddit because I don't know about you, but these days when I'm searching Google, there's so much trash on there that you usually just append Reddit to your keyword and you can get really quality Reddit threads of real people answering, adding their experiences and similar. And I really think that's what a lot of these models are missing is personal touch, you know, it, that's why you can kind of tell when it's AI content. But in this case, we're using multiple Reddit sources, Reddit links, we're kind of downloading them, saving them in Notion, and then Notion AI is generating us original content based on what people are saying. And it is also citing the original sources. So yeah, we're, we're still referencing back to the people who posted them. So high level overview of how it works, just to re create content in a few clicks. Basically, you take a bunch of links from Reddit, the reds that you like, you paste them directly in here. Then I've actually created a script that you can run. Actually, there is a link right here if you download the template. And all you have to do is run two commands. And actually, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but you basically just have to create a Notion integration and a Reddit app, which is pretty easy to do. Then you just run the script and it will download all the Reddit threads, the copy and the content, the content and the comments rather, and from there, all we have to do is run Notion AI, which can not just create articles for you, but you can ask it questions about your knowledge base and you can really do a ton with it. So we have our prompt here. It will read these articles and then create a new piece of content. In this case, a 1500 word blog post. It'll save it to this table. And then all we have to do is maybe add some images and then publish. So I'm just gonna show you this entire flow and I think it's really cool. So let's get started. Basically, we just go to Reddit, we type in a topic we want to write about. So while my blog is about AI here, let's just do something a little bit, maybe more not interesting, but we can type in, like if we're going to Amsterdam, what are the best clubs there? So all I wanna do is type in the nightlife in Amsterdam Reddit, and then I have all my threads here. So what we can do is just actually copy these links and then paste them into our notion so we just add into this table there's link number one and maybe you want to read through these articles before you are adding them just to make sure the uh, style or rather the information there is relevant to you so let's actually do three you can do more if you want and then we're just going to run our script so i have this mini uh, github repo called Notion AI blog. And basically all you have to do is make install. Just run these after you download. This will download all your dependencies and then you do make run. It's gonna start two servers, send a request to that server. And then as we can see in the background, we've populated all our sources. So if we just actually open this up, we can see it uh, referenced the source, the user, and downloaded basically a bunch of comments with recommendations for different clubs. We can look at this article, and this one's a bit short, and then we can look at this one, which is just some general tips. So 
We have our sources here. We can also add, if we want, a custom source. So we can write, we can copy paste from somewhere else. We can add our own kind of notes here. And then we just run Notion AI. So I have a prompt here that can be copy pasted and then some instructions for making this work the best. Uh, but basically you open up Notion AI in the corner, little chat bubble, and then you just paste it in. Now I wanna at reference all our articles here. So I just do at Best Club in Amsterdam, at Fun But Chill Nightlife, and these are just the names from our sources here. So I'm going to hit enter and we'll let Notion AI run. So as you can see, it's generating our article and it is referencing actually quotes from Reddit and then adding the source in line. So then it's kind of giving you a breakdown of the specific different areas and then quoting people from Reddit. And we're also prioritizing comments with a higher score from our prompt. So it's not just giving general info, which we maybe get with ChatGPT. It is actually giving us specific places specific quotes from people's experiences and citing the sources. So we made this a 1500 word blog post. We generated we did this whole thing in about you know, one or two minutes because I was explaining it, but you can actually do it even faster. Now, of course, you're still gonna have to read this for quality and similar, but it's a really good starting point. And then you can do follow up prompts. Hey, change the tone, uh, add some info about this, add more sources and uh, similar. So in this template, once we generate our post, we just want to save the page. So what we do is we go into posts and then it will just save here. Now, as things are set up by default, it is not published. So we can then open that post that we've created and we can now add some image assets. We can add a category um, and customize what's been written here. But I think what is actually easy to do is just add some images. So I just put slash image in Notion and I can pull images from Unsplash free unlicensed images of Amsterdam. So I can just add a normal photo, but that's not at night. So maybe we want to add some like nightlife photos. Amsterdam night. And then maybe we can add some partying photos right here. So just slash image going over to Unsplash club. Of course, you can get more uh, specific pictures of these different places if you want to be a little bit more comprehensive. And I think that's a good starting point if we just want to publish a lot of content, maybe that's all we need. So all I do from here, go to published, check that box. Now, I go back to our blog, we'll see it already appeared right here. So let's just do another one really fast to do the full flow and see how long it takes. So let's do one for Copenhagen. I'm gonna copy our links. Oh, I didn't copy the URL. Go back to here. Okay, we've got our three scripts. Let's archive these old ones and let's uh, just do make run again. So we'll see our sources are being added. Now we run Notion AI with this prompt at reference anything with uh, CPH and Copenhagen. All right. So this is being generated pretty fast. Again, see things come line by line. And one thing I wanna add, if you're gonna do something like this, add as many sources as you can. Even three is maybe not enough because if you only add one, it's kind of just gonna copy what's already in that thread, which is arguably plagiarism. It's kind of a gray area. When you look at, you know, ChatGPT basically scraping everything without permission, without paying anyone. Yeah, that's a little bit controversial as it is. So just use this responsibly, if you will. So we just got to wait and we can even start finding our next links at this point if we want to really do like a bunch of articles. And yeah. So I wrote a pretty good summary again, added a bunch of quotes. People really trust Reddit, so I think having these in your blog post is gonna be you know, very beneficial for retention. And then we just wanna do the same thing again, which is add this to our posts database. Jump over here, we can open it up, and then we can add similar, again, image, either upload or go to Unsplash, search for Copenhagen. This is definitely Copenhagen. And the uh, notion like drag and drop, you know, 
features and whatnot. They're just, just makes this really a good process, even when you compare it to something like WordPress. Okay, image here, and let's just do one. Let's do, at least have one for each article. Okay, everything looks good, and we can go to published. So our date auto populates, everything's looking good. And we can actually see as soon as we update it, it is updated on our live site. So one last thing I want to mention before we wrap this up, and I hope you found this interesting as a new way to generate content. Pretty cool. Publishing the Notion sites as they stand, it's already solid. So you can add a custom domain and everything like that. From what I've heard, if you do want a little bit more performance, you can use sites like super.so, bullet.so, and these actually add an extra layer to your site build. And so basically, you bullet will allow you to customize how the published version looks a little bit more and it will automatically connect. So that's something I'm still looking into personally for let's say a little bit better SEO or rankings, a little bit faster load times. But in general, let me know what you think of this stack. You can go ahead and download, copy my template, download my code from GitHub and Another thanks to Notion for sponsoring this video. Check out links in description and I'll see you in the next one for hopefully more interesting builds.